Hello everyone, it is me, Butterfly Spirit, aka Michelle. So today guys, I'm going to be talking to you about some very exciting news uh, that I have for um, Monday. Uh, Monday is basically uh, tomorrow and stuff. And uh, guys, well, uh, what I'm going to be doing is um, I have scheduled to get a past life reading done for myself. So... Um, the past life reading, I'm really excited about it because I have been constantly been getting signs that I'm supposed to go and get a past life reading done and stuff like that. Uh, I've been getting these, uh, signs for days from, you know, my heart self, my spirit guides and stuff like that about me going and getting my past life, um, reading done and stuff like that. Now guys, the, with the past life reading, I want to explain this to you. So, um, getting a past life reading is different from getting someone to hypnotize you and then you basically um, go through the process of reliving your past lives through hypnosis. It's very, very different. Um, a past life reading would be basically, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is that um, I'm going to meet with a psychic um, and basically, um, what's going to happen is that she's going to, um, tell me about my past lives and stuff like that. I've never done a past life reading before. I've had a tarot card reading, um, session done before, um, but never really a past life reading done before. So as far as I'm concerned with the reading, she's just going to tell me about my past lives and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be sitting in for a 30 minute past life session. And, um, you know, at first I was thinking a 30 minute past life session is not going to be that long, you know, to me it's not, you know, but, um, the, the psychic medium and healer, what she's going to do is she's going to, uh, talk for 10 minutes about each of the past lives that I've had. So not each of them, but at least three, the last three that I had and stuff like that. And so I'm going to get a chance to know about my uh, three past incarnations that happened before this lifetime uh, and stuff like that. So yeah. So um, in my past life readings um, in for each of my lives, what I want to learn about is what my name was. Uh, whether I was male or female, um, I want to find out, you know, where I lived, uh, based on what country that I live in, what language did I speak, um, you know, was I on earth, or was I in like some other planet, or some other dimension, or whatever, you know, um, I want to find out if I was like married, single, or if I had kids, or, um, you know, if you know, what kind of profession uh, did I have, you know, um, I'm trying to think, did I practice a religion of any sort, um, what kind of family was I a part of, um, just like different stuff, you know, that, that I wanted to know about myself and stuff like that and whatever. And it's just like, I'm really excited. I've been getting the signs and stuff. And I guess it's just time for me to know, you know, about my past three incarnations. And I feel like, you know, my higher self really wants me to know about myself. Because it's going to get me closer. By knowing my past lives, it's going to get me closer to, you know, to, you know, taking a walk in spirituality and not being afraid of things like, you know, the spiritual awakening or open my third eye or seeing spirits or, you know, uh, talking to spirits or, you know, getting into energy healing or whatever, you know, um, opening, you know, the third eye is really something where you have to want to do and you have to be prepared for it. Uh, opening your third eye is not just about seeing auras. It is about, you know, really, you know, wanting to do it and being in touch with what it is about for you to do that, if that makes sense. My phone feels so hot. I don't know if my phone's overheating or not. I'm not very sure. But, um, so yeah, you know, I think that, you know, if you really want to get the most out of having 
um, is spiritual awakening and opening your third eye, then you have to be okay with, you know, your perception of reality changing, what you know about people, um, like what you know about who they are and how they are changing. You know, you have to be okay with your, you know, various parts of your life, you know, and what you know being shattered and you having to relearn and um, understand life differently um if that makes sense and stuff and i think a lot of people get into a uh, spirituality and they think that you know they're doing it because other people are doing it but they are not really sure about what they're getting into um, when they open their third eye and stuff and you know they're not really ready and the thing is it's like if you really do not want you know your perception of reality shattered like you know, you not being able to eat meat or, um, you know, you realizing that this reality is fake and stuff like that or whatever. And, you know, that the truth is a lot crazier than what you think, then, yeah, you probably shouldn't open your third eye. You know, if you're the type of person you like going, you know, you know, and working a job every day and stuff like that, you know, don't open your third eye. You know, there is a... um there's a YouTuber uh, who talks about, you know, 10 reasons you shouldn't open your third eye and stuff like that. And it's the guy from Infinite Waters or whatever. And he talks about 10 reasons you shouldn't open your third eye. I recommend for you guys to definitely watch that video uh, if you're considering opening your third eye. Because he's going to tell you 10 reasons why you should not do it um, and stuff. And I think it was really helpful that he, you know, talked about that with reference to the third eye and stuff. And... I believe that he would know because he's opened his third eye and he just seems so uh, filled with, you know, happiness and peace and stuff on a level that a lot of people are not, you know. And so, you know, I can tell he opened his third eye, you know, and stuff because he he has that peace about him, that happiness about him and stuff where, you know, he doesn't seem to be worried about things, you know. In a way that you or I will be worried about stuff. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. And stuff. So, um, you know, yes. If you're getting into spirituality because it is something that you, you know, you really want to get into. And you're serious about it, go for it. But if you're just doing it because you want to see auras, then, you know, and you just want to get the flashy stuff or you want to use the gifts of the third eye to misuse and abuse people, don't bother doing it. Because if you try to open your third eye and you have malicious, mal, or bad intent behind it, you're going to see some stuff you're not going to want to see. It's going to scare the shit out of you. And you're going to, for some people, they say, oh my gosh, I saw a demon or whatever. And it's not necessarily, you know, it's basically, you know, spirits you don't want to see that have the same type of intent that you have, you know, because they're around you because, I mean, they feed off of you because you have that negative and malicious and bad intent and stuff like that. Sometimes you have to get over your fears uh, when it comes to certain things. But, you know, if you're opening your third eye, I suggest you do research and stuff. I watched a video uh, that this guy had um, on YouTube. And he said it took him about eight months to, um, to you know, start seeing, um, you know, progress towards opening his third eye. So, you know, things start happening a little bit at a time and stuff like that, you know, with his third eye and stuff like that. Uh, it was open, but he didn't open it all the way, but he started, you know, getting stuff happening that he knew was coming from the third eye. And he stopped, you know, um. He stopped and he decided that, that it wasn't where, you know, he wanted to go, you know. Uh, he's basically had been declassifying his pineal gland for the past uh, eight months. And, you know, when he got to the eight-month mark, he started to see the powers of the third eye and he decided it wasn't for him. He was the type of guy, he was more um, matrixy and he, you know, he liked his reality um, with his friends and stuff like that. So, you know, he didn't want to live in that kind of world because it kind of scared him, you know, with, you know, um, you know, opening his third eye and the experiences that he was starting to have and stuff like that. So, yeah, it it was basically something like that. And, 
he learned that I wasn't right for him. But for me, guys, I'm going all the way with opening my third eye and, you know, using my gifts to help people. Because, you know, it's it's what I came here to do. Um, and, um, you know, I know that because when I was born, I had the gifts of the third eye. But I lost them shortly after I was born and stuff because, um, because you know, because of vaccinations uh, that I got and stuff like that. And, you know, um, the sickness that I got, like lead poisoning I got, was something that caused my third eye to get harmed a lot and stuff and close off my abilities. And I think if my third eye would have been open from the time I was a baby all the way up, I think my life would have been so so damn different and there would have been like so many things that I would have learned and understood better than you know what I do now but I'm really excited to open my third eye because when I open my third eye then I feel like I'm going to like just get to that like get to a place where I'm comfortable because when I was born and my third eye was open I was comfortable you know but you know not having it, it's like a lost sense that I don't have, you know, and stuff. It's like losing something you really need. And for me, it's something that I need and stuff like that. So that's going to be like a sense that I've been missing for a long time that, that I get back and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to opening my third eye and stuff. Um, yes, there are times where I do ask myself, you know, um, you know, do I, you know, Am I okay with seeing the things that I'm going to see? Um, I think with the third eye, there's going to be some beautiful things I'm going to see. And also with the third eye, there's going to be some, you know, some, maybe some not so great things that I'm going to see with the third eye. But I feel like it's going to really give my experience perspective. And having, you know, my third eye open is going to allow me to help other people and stuff like that. And, you know, relate more to the people in my life and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be, you know, pretty great in itself, if that makes sense. Oh, excuse me. But, um, guys, what I'm going to be doing, like I said, on Monday is I'm going to be getting my past life reading done. And, um, you know, I'm getting the past life reading done first because rather than going to the hypnosis and then, you know, imagining going through past lives what i want to do is i want to know about my past lives first so that when you know if i dream about a past life or have a vision about a past life i will know that this is my past life i can confirm uh that it is now some people are going to say well how do you know that you know the psychic medium that's going to do your um your past life reading is going to be, you know, accurate. She's going to know what she's doing. Well, she's been doing this for a long time. Uh, she's been doing this, you know, for like 30 years or so or longer. So she knows exactly what she's doing. She is certified and stuff like that. And, you know, I've had her do a, a Reiki session for me where she helped me to heal from, um, an injury and stuff like that uh, from a concussion when I was really young and stuff and I I didn't know that uh, after the concussion I had as a child that I, w I became bipolar and stuff like that and I had no idea and I went years um, until like um, I think it was like the beginning of this year where you know the psychic medium slash healer she was able to do a mini like 15 minute session which she did for free and she healed where my concussion was and stuff like that um and stuff and it basically stopped me from being bipolar been going and like have my highs and lows and stuff like that so i'm really glad about that and stuff like that um and you know I just, I'm just really happy, and as I have my spiritual experiences, I'm just really happy as I have them, because it, to me, it means, like, I'm, I'm, you know, taking a step in the right direction every single time through everything I study and stuff like that to get further and further into understanding, like, this universe, this reality, why we live the lives that we live, and just learning about, you know, the spirit world and just every single thing is just... To me, it is just awesome. But, yeah, um, I'm going to be getting my past life reading done and stuff. And I think it's going to be awesome and stuff. 
Uh, the reason why I'm not going to do the a past life hypnosis um, done is because, you know, I don't want to imagine something that's like not my past life, you know. I want to have certainty through a past life reading first to confirm that, you know, I had a past life, you know, you know, past life A, past life B, past life C, and this for my life is like, so when I dream about my past life or if I go through a past life hypnosis session, I will know that the past life is accurate to me. And it's actually me, not just me having my imagination and stuff like that. You know, we're, you know, I'm just thinking up something and it didn't happen. So, yeah. Sorry, my lips are like chat. But, uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share that. Um, if you guys are interested in learning about, like, past lives like what it's like for somebody to um you know learn about their past lives and talk about past lives i'm reading this book called many lives many masters and it's by dr brian weiss um and basically it's a book about him he's a psychiatrist and what he does is uh, he has this patient named Catherine, and she comes in uh, because she's having you know anxiety attacks nightmares depression a whole lot of different stuff she cannot sleep and she's just having all these, you know, just emotional and mental issues that's bothering her and nothing seems to be working. Um, traditional, you know, psychiatry is not working for her, but, you know, um, when Catherine meets um, Dr. Brian Weiss, then, you know, things take a whole different turn when he has her undergo hypnosis to see if he can under uncover what's going on with her and try to help her heal emotionally, mentally, and stuff from, you know, the traumas that she has experienced and stuff like that. And basically, you know, it basically goes to a point where um, she is regressed um, to her um, her childhood. And then she's regressed to a past life. And then throughout the book, she goes, she's going back and forth through her past lives, talking about different things. And through talking about, you know... Her past lives, remembering what she went through, you know, her life, her deaths that she had, um, then she's able to to slowly but surely start to heal. And she gets psychic abilities after so many um, past life uh, hypnosis sessions and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah, guys, it's just, it's an amazing book. Uh, if you guys are interested in reading it, I highly suggest it. I have my own book that I'm reading and stuff uh, to kind of prep myself for um, my past life reading and you know um, some past life work that I'm going to be doing to try to further uh, gain information about my past life so I can help out my life right now and hopefully the information I get will be able to help other people out there too guys so um, thank you guys for watching this video uh, this has been Butterfly Spirit aka Michelle thank you guys for watching and if you guys wanted to know um, about this shirt that I'm wearing um, some of the professional basically this was a business idea that I came up with um, like last year and you know I thought it was gonna be a great idea for like to have like a business where I help people with getting jobs and stuff well that kind of fell through and they'll see I, and what I have left from it now is my shirt and a whole lot of other stuff that I, you know, had for my business and stuff like that. It wasn't really successful, but, um, you know, I'm using things that I learned from my last business experience to help me with building a new business um, that I'm going to be having soon. So, um, yeah, I will be opening a new business that's going to be um, focused on helping people with improving their lives, you know, um, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, and spiritually as well, and to help them uncover their purpose and just different other types of things, guys. So thank you guys for uh, watching this video, and um, I will give you guys an update about uh, what happens, uh, you know, like after my past life reading, like what I learned and different other host of kind of stuff or whatever. So thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.